COVID-19 continue to rise. Although most cases in Hawaii have not required hospitalization, a woman who recovered from the virus worries she could get it again. Jen Boniza reports. 47-year-old Valerie Frank contracted COVID-19 in April. She said she feels lucky she only battled the disease for a short period of time and that she didn't require hospitalization. Even though she's recovered, she says she continues to take precautions just in case. I was reading all these articles about people whose symptoms that started really mild and they either woke up in the middle of the night not being able to breathe or <laughs> they had to go to the emergency room in the middle of the night. So I was a little concerned about that. Valerie Frank is counting her blessings. The avid hiker and paddler says it's been over three months since she battled COVID-19. By all accounts, she said she had a mild case. It started with uh, fatigue. I was really tired in the evening of April 3rd, Friday after work, more than normal. Frank, who is a physical therapist, says she woke up that night with a sore throat, cough, and a headache. So she got tested. It came out positive. I had almost everything except for a fever and loss of smell and taste. Starting about day three or four, um, my lungs just were burning. And I was just sitting on the couch. I felt like I'd run a mile for time. She says her symptoms lasted 10 days. Though she's recovered, she continues to take precautions. Even though I've already had it, I don't want to get it again. And I certainly don't want to give it to my patients or my friends or my family members. I would never want to wish it on anybody. <laughs> Wear your masks. <laughs> I spoke to Dr. Scott Miskovich, a physician who's been active in testing COVID-19 around the state, whether a person could contract the virus twice. He says there is currently no evidence to show a person can or cannot get it a second time, but advises everyone to take precautions to prevent the spread, whether they've had it or not. Jen Boniza K22 News, working for Hawaii.